Lesser Light by Matthew Draper Chapter 16 It took me hours to coax Scrumples out from deep under the bed, where they had secluded themselves after scrambling away from Sebastian and zooming upstairs. Scrumps had the measure of the man. Clever cat. How dare Sebastian call him stupid? Come on out, baby. I flicked a short string of tinsel under the bed and drew it out slowly creating an alluring temptation for the cat to bat at. Come on! Flick, drag, flick, drag, pounce! As soon as they were close enough, I reached out and caught hold of them, scooping Scrumples into a big squeeze. Don't you listen to that horrible man. By the time Rocco got home in the afternoon, I had settled the cat and myself into a semblance of calm. He had been on a road trip with his mum, Brenda, to visit an elderly aunt of hers. They always made the trip between Christmas and New Year. I had not seen any of my own aunts or uncles since the big fallout with my parents. I did not know for sure they would take my parents' side, but I assumed, and the relations had never rushed to my side, so I left them be. I rarely dwelt on the fallout. That argument with my parents was locked far too deeply inside my memories to be worth dragging to the surface. Rocco stomped his boots off and shook the cold out of his coat. It's gonna snow tomorrow, he announced as he made his way into the lounge, giving the top of my head a little kiss, ruffling Scrumple's fur and slumping into the sofa. The sight of my earlier confrontation with Sebastian. I wasn't planning to mention it. How could he, a non-con, understand what Sebastian was trying to drag from me by force. Rocco never understood faith as a solid, real element which exists within you. For him, the only higher power was a gentle hum vibrating through the universe. Ironic, considering he was the chairman of the village church fate committee. Morgan had taught us very differently. We know that God made a greater light to rule the day, and a lesser light to rule the night. We always talk about the sun of God, but never the moon. What if we admit we are not worthy to face the sun directly? Not without sunglasses. Not without getting burnt up. Can we approach the sun in a rocket? Absolutely not. But have we put a man on the moon? Of course we have. The power of the moon is the power we can possess as men having been made a little lower than the angels, on earth, but within reaching distance of the angelic power, of something we can all harness by approaching the lesser light, Gabriel. That night, I could not sleep. Scrumples was also up for hours, digging at the carpet towards the foot of the bed. He had been scratching at the same patch of floor since Christmas Eve. Psst, what are you doing? I kept my voice low, not wanting to wake up Rocco, who was deep in dreamland, sleeping on his front, a sweaty arm pressed over his pillow. I rolled onto the floor, dropping out from under the quilt, without letting too much cold air into the warm interior. I crept around the head of the bed on my hands and knees, to shoo Scrumples away from the torn carpet threads. Will you stop that, please? Their eyes shone back at me in the dark. On the floor, something else reflected in the dim light. I could just pick it out, gleaming through the carpet threads. I dug my fingers around it, still partially buried, a small piece of solid material. I recognised the shape by touch. A ring. My ring, the ring which had slipped off so easily when I met Rocco and relaxed my connection to St. Michael's and the past. The ring I had convinced myself was entirely made up, along with almost everything else I could remember from my time in Sheffield. Everything but the friendships was just a nightmare. 
as I lifted the ring out of its embedded home, dusted off the carpet fibres, and slid it back onto my finger. I recalled it all. Miracles, visions, encounters, and at the centre of it all, Gabriel. The archangel dragged us towards him, the way the moon heaves waves from the sea into tides. I had to stop Sebastian from bringing him back, no matter the cost. Lesser Light is an online event. Head to lesserlight.blog to join in the comment section or share this story on Facebook, Twitter, Hive or your favourite social media platform. The Lesser Light paperback is available from lulu.com or other booksellers or you can download the ebook now. But remember, no spoilers until New Year's Day. The story is fictional, but if the elements about trauma, cults or recovery have affected you, you can find helplines at lesserlight.blog.